Good morning, good afternoon. Watch him at 65, Lisa Boyce. Let me give you a verse of scripture. It is out of, and I've given you this verse before, but for some reason, I feel the need to give it again. It says, and he said unto me, this is 2 Corinthians 12, 9. He said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, and my strength is made perfect in weakness. Get a hold of that. When you're, whatever you're going through, get a hold of that. Because that verse alone gives you strength that only God can give. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you speak to you, teach you, if you let him, and he will change you again, if you let him. My suggestion is to let him. Let him. A lot of news is coming out, but this came out this morning, and this is about... Um, Kim Jong-un, he's cozying up to Putin, which I said, they're all together anyway. Well, he fired a ballistic missile, another one. So they fired a ballistic missile off his East Coast today. Apparently this was today, only days after he said he would not hesitate to annihilate, annihilate his neighbor. Let me turn these cats down for just a second. They're playing with a toy, so. But he said here, it says here, our military detected uh, one suspected intermediate range ballistic missile launched from Pyongyang area towards the East Sea around 1455. That was about 255 today. Seoul's, uh, Seoul, South Korea Joint Chiefs of Staff said they did not say how far the weapon had flown, but Japan's Coast Guard said it fell just outside of the exclusive economic zone. Tensions are running high on the peninsula as Kim Jong, I call him Pillsbury Doughboy, has been stepping up pressure on Seoul South Korea declaring it the principal enemy in recent days. Now remember, North Korea and China has payloads and satellites posted. So that means they have weapon capability, EMP capability, which they do. And don't forget, North Korea, China, North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran. They're all together. They're all connected. It says that... Um, Tensions are running high on the peninsula as he has been stepping up pressure on Seoul, declaring it the principal enemy in recent days. He has threatened to annihilate if it, uh, 
annihilated if provoked and vowed to enhance his country's ability to deliver a nuclear strike on the U.S. and America's allies in the Pacific. Again, can I see them doing a nuke or a type of an EMP? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. They're not running these... Um, launching these rockets for just for the joy of it that's not happening just for the just for the hell of it they're not doing that they're doing that for a reason last week his sister pledged to unleash an immediate listen an immediate military strike on south korea over the slightest provocation she's more dangerous than he is she is evil. She, and, and I think she is worse than he is. She won't hesitate. The close uh, ally of the dictator said North Korea, hmm, again, using the word I just used, wouldn't hesitate to attack his enemy as tensions explode over the border. It came only days after uh, North Korea fired a barrage of artillery shells near the 10th sea border with South Korea, prompting Seoul to conduct similar firing exercises in the same area. It was dubbed the biggest escalation between the two uh, Korean states in recent years. So tensions are definitely rising, and it's funny that that election in China has caused all this to go on right now. So it says the site is where uh, the navies of the two Koreas have fought three bloody sea battles since 1999. And attacks blamed on North Korea uh, eliminated 50 South Koreans in 2010. Experts are saying that Kim is trying to stoke up anger by conducting more missile tests and possibly launching small-scale physical attacks on his neighbor to meddle with South Korea's election coming up in April. So Pyongyang's isolated government is also fighting closer ties with Russia. And it attempts to solidify its position in the growing anti-Western axis of evil. North Korea's foreign minister will visit China. North Korea's foreign minister will visit China this week. Just as Washington led a chorus condemnation over Kim's transfer of weapons from Moscow to use against Ukraine. On December 29th and January 2nd, Russia used North Korean missiles to blitz Ukraine for the first time, leaving at least, at least 50 people uh, dead. The UK's uh, Defense Secretary Grant uh, Shapps said the world turned its back on Russia, forcing Putin into the humiliation of going to North Korea to keep his illegal invasion going. Moscow and Pyongyang have denied conducting any arms deal, but vowed in September to deepen military mil uh, relations and to fight a sacred battle against the West. On Thursday, the U.S. imposed sanctions, targeting Russian entities aiding the transfer of North Korean uh, ballistic missiles to the potentially used to be potentially used against Ukraine. There's a lot going on right now. I believe, I don't know when, I don't know whether it's going to be before the rapture or after. They will use an EMP. They're going to be forced to use an EMP. It could be this year. It could be soon. But tensions are ramping up. Now, there was a protest yesterday near the White House. 
Thousands of pro-Palestinian de uh, demonstrators rallied in D.C. yesterday. Uh, they're angered by what's happening in Yemen. The situation deteriorated on into, uh, it, it was bad. It, it was really bad. So I'm going to link that in the description box. And then this came out today. Speaking of China, Egypt and China are closely following developments in the Red Sea. Focusing on the priority of ensuring the safety and security of navigation, they said in a joint statement today, the two countries expressed concern over the expansion of the conflict in the region, emphasizing the importance of uniting efforts to stop attacks on Gaza. China's foreign minister, Wang Yi, called Sunday for the establishment of the Palestinians of a Palestinian state and ceasefire in Gaza, where 100 days of the Israel Hamas war has been taking place. Now, they're calling for an establishment of a Palestinian state. Two state solution. Two state solution. In a press conference with his Egyptian counterpart in Cairo, the top Chinese diplomat said it is necessary to insist on the establishment of an independent, fully sovereign state of Palestine on the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as his capital. The only way that's going to happen is if the Antichrist gets involved which is going to happen sooner rather than later. In a joint statement from the two ministers urged an immediate end to all acts of violence, Israel launched an intense military campaign, blah, blah, blah. We know that. Chinese President Xi has previously called for an international peace conference to resolve the fighting. What these people don't realize is each conference and each meeting that they have to call for Israel to stop and to establish a two-state solution. Since none of them can do it, they're calling on someone who can do it. And that's the Antichrist. Folks, we're not going to be here long. And we're not going to see who this person is. That's why I really don't care who he is. Period. And neither should you. It's fun to think about it, though. But we don't care because we're not going to see him. This thing is too evil. And yeah, I call him a thing. He's too evil. So I will link both of these in the description box and I will be back later today. Thank you for your support, your prayers. Pray. For Zachariah, he applied for a job, and I'm praying that his door is open for him so he can have success. So, thank you.